got an AMO monoblock carburetor here and uh, I've been make, uh, meaning to make a video like this for quite some time actually because I've described this from time to time on a couple of forums and different places but I've never actually filmed it. What I'm going to do, if we look there, I've got the original type of white plastic float needle and I've got the type that is often used to replace it, a metal one with, uh, I think they call it a vitium tip, like a rubber tip, and it's supposed to be ethanol proof. But uh, anyway, just put the um, white float needle in to start off with, and we'll have a look at the, uh, the float height when it comes up to a stop against the float needle. Right, so this is the white plastic one, and that's it in the fully raised position there and um, if we look there's quite a good clearance between the top of the float and the boss for the thread for the, the top screw of the uh, float, float chamber cover there's a good gap between them there and also if I press the tickler button let's see how far it has to go before it moves the float Quite a way, quite a way in before it moves the float. Quite a way down. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, white float needle out and I'll put the metal one in. And we'll uh, repeat what I've just done and see what it's like with the metal one. So that's the white, the uh, white plastic one out. Now put the uh, rubber tipped or vitian tipped metal one in, put the uh, float back in and that's the float in the fully raised position and it should be obvious that it's quite a bit higher. It's a lot closer to that boss there than it was when the other float needle was in there and also the tickler button will make contact with it and start moving it while there's more tickler button shank still exposed out the carburetor body. There we are. So that float is quite considerably higher when it's got the metal float needle in it and when it's got the white plastic one. In it. And that's worth bearing in mind. You know, quite often you can swap from one type to the other and maybe not notice anything or get any trouble at all but it does actually affect the level of fuel in the float chamber depending on um, which type of float needle you've got and um, it's worth considering that the metal type one has actually got a groove around it there and that is for it to work on the type of float that you find in the concentric carburetors and um, the dimensions of it are more in line with the concentric carburetor float needle. They are actually slightly different. And I'll put them side by side and uh, hopefully might just about be able to see them. Very, very, there's very, very little in it. Just enough just to affect the float height that little bit but um, that in turn affects the fuel level in the float chamber by at least a couple of millimetres. So it's worth considering, if you ever get carburetor issues and you've changed from one type of float needle to another, in these monoblock carburetors at least, that um, changing back to the other type might just solve your problems, if you've got any. Now, it's not always the case, but uh, just something worth bearing in mind. <laughs> 